TikTok's viral milk crate challenge has swept the internet off its feet quite literally, but after reports of extreme bodily harm and life-threatening injuries, TikTok has begun to remove the content from its platform. Let's get into it. By now, we've all been made very aware of TikTok's latest viral challenge and might have even gone down a milk crate rabbit hole because if we're being honest, it truly is hard to turn the other way. We covered how dangerous the challenge has become since going viral earlier this week. So we'll link the story for you right up here above. So if you're like us and have watched more milk crate videos than you're willing to admit, the first of many questions that commonly arises is, where are people getting all these milk crates? Dude with sign totally gets it. But many other burning questions have stemmed from tuning in like, do we need to call 911? What are you trying to prove? Do you have solid health insurance? And does that said health insurance cover stupidity? I could go on and on about this, but it seems TikTok just shared their response to these questions with an end all be all resolution. A spokesperson for the platform issued a statement to multiple outlets this week, explaining that it is currently in the process of removing the videos as this trend goes against the brand's guidelines. The statement said, TikTok prohibits content that promotes or glorifies dangerous acts, and we remove videos and redirect searches to our community guidelines to discourage such content. We encourage everyone to exercise caution in their behavior, whether online or off. While these videos are being swept off TikTok, they are, however, still able to be shared via other social media platforms, like Instagram and Twitter at the time of reporting. There is no word on whether that will change in the coming weeks, but the videos have become so popular that doctors and health agencies have responded to the trend, including the FDA, who actually responded to Conan O'Brien's tweet joking that he was waiting for the FDA's approval. The account shared a comical response of their own saying, although we regulate milk, we can't recommend you try that. Perhaps enjoy a nice glass of 2% and return all those crates to the grocery store? Other health departments around the US have been urging against the trend, especially considering the fact that hospitals are already compacted with COVID patients, like the Baltimore City Health Department, who sarcastically tweeted, with COVID-19 hospitalizations rising around the country, please check with your local hospital to see if they have a bed available for you before attempting the hashtag milk crate challenge. And I think this goes without saying, but Dr. Chad Cannon, the chair of the ER at the University of Kansas Health System, further detailed the physical health risks challenges are facing, explaining to a local news station, you're at risk for falling, hitting your head and getting a head bleed, you're breaking your neck and becoming paralyzed. He added, when you fall, you naturally extend your arm and try to catch yourself and you can break the bones in your wrist. I think this is just a silly thing that folks are doing because it's just stupid. Moral of the story, guys, just don't do it. And maybe pick up another hobby that doesn't include a potential brain bleed or three nights stay at your local emergency room. Because real talk, these videos are painful even just to watch. And to see what an actual orthopedic surgeon had to say about the dangerous viral challenge, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on TikTok's decision to remove the content from their platform in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.